matchup on deck. Number 20, Kansas Jayhawks take on the Nebraska Cornhuskers. It's going to be an exciting one. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. Notable for Nebraska, Izzy Bourne back in the lineup. First time since December 4th. And on the Kansas side, Holly back in the lineup as well. Just in time for the holidays, might I add. She's back after she did not play against Tulsa. Kara, a really exciting matchup. Just so many scores on Dents. Yeah, it's got to be exciting for both coaches to have what they feel like a little bit closer to a full lineup back, more options to get off the bench. And see, let's see how Izzy Bourne does here to start this game. This is going to be a good one. Sure will be. And like we talked about earlier, just a defensive battle. I think both teams will really need to keen in on that as Kansas controls the tip. It'll be really important for both teams to get off to hot starts. Nebraska hasn't been in the past, and that's really hurt them down the stretch. You can't do that against a team like Kansas. Yeah, Coach Williams definitely is going to emphasize getting off to a good start. You'll notice Markowski started off on Jackson, and it looks like Jackson's going to guard Markowski on the other end. This is going to be a great matchup today. For sure, not the way you wanted to start Kansas with an early turnover. Pass to Shelley. Offhand, and that'll be another turnover. So back to back, again, something that we've seen turnovers have been a real Achilles' heel for the Huskers. And Kansas, we know, forces a lot of those. Yeah, for sure. It, both teams so good defensively. I would expect that we'll see a couple turnovers today, and that's okay. Franklin back out on the perimeter, looking for an open teammate. Got Jackson there. Oh, cool. Travel. Coach for the Jayhawks, 2019 to 20 season. He was seven and 18. Turned that program around to 21 and 10, just his last year. Now he's undefeated, yeah. 10 and 0. What an impressive job Coach Snyder has done. Yeah, Coach Snyder, 2022 Big 12 Coach of the Year, and he's keeping it rolling here to start this season. Great pass and finish. Here's the Iwana. She goes up no good. Again, denied by Murkowski. Just great help defense. Shelly back in control, and she drives down. A beautiful pass to Murkowski, and that's good. 4-0 the score. Mayberry gets a screen. Huskers will switch those on-ball guard-to-guard screens. Josh Shelley sets back up, takes a three, just off the mark there. Jackson with the rebound. Mayberry heading down the court, nice little behind the back dribble. Lots of on ball pressure from Nebraska that's really hurting. It's a pass to Jackson, that's good. Good start for Bourne. Just getting in a rhythm, getting up and down the court. Shelley drives. Down the baseline, looking for an outlet pass. She's got it. Three on the way. No good. Jackson's open down. She's got someone wide open. Franklin, no good. Again, bodies on the floor. Another jump ball. Great. Is trying to set up again. Great transition defense that time by the Huskers. Inside of Jackson. That's good. And Sam Hybe back into this lineup for the Huskers. Such a key part of the team brings so much experience to Nebraska as she drives one in for herself. That's good, breaking the 7-0 run from Kansas. Yeah, Heidi has been there and done that. And she's also playing with a little bit of extra heart. Mm -hmm. She didn't know she'd be back this season after her injury and surgery. Three on the way from Iwana is good. Hybe with the ball on the perimeter as she drives on the baseline, tries to go around her defender, kicks it back out. That's good. The Huskers are doing a great job early of driving the baseline and being able to find open shooters, uh, whether it be Markowski cutting down low or a shooter outside. Once they start hitting those shots, they've got a chance to, to get things going offensively. Franklin with the mid-range shot, no good. No worries, Jackson is there, picks it right back up. 11-9, Kansas. Ivy taking it up the floor. She drives. Foul call, she'll get two shots. Usually on the wing with their guards and Markowski. What that will do for, for them today is they'll pull out Jackson. Um, she's still going to be able to make it pretty tough for them as she was able to get back in front there. Iwana 
shot for three. That's no good. High B. For the Cornhusker basketball team on Sunday. Yeah, she's been around. Volleyball, basketball really does it all. Awesome. Play basketball for the Cornhuskers. She talked about trying to handle that pressure, and she said, you know, it's it's really hard. It feels like she's been playing at such a high level for so long. Can't do much better than that. Nope. She figured out how to be a basketball player real quick, and she'll be much needed throughout this game with her length. Kick outside, here's a three on the way, and it's good. Kendall Coley for three. Another great drive, baseline, and kick out for Je Jazz Shelley to Coley. Again, it seems like the recipe for Nebraska. Kansas looking to go quick. Getting stressed about, about a slow start. Mm -hmm. They're going to continue to push and transition, try and force turnovers on the defensive end. Middleton backs down, no good, but a foul. We'll see if she can stay 100% from the free throw line. Two for two. Kansas looking to hold the ball down to the final seconds of the shot clock. Mayberry drives, no good. Rebound Kansas, Mayberry with it on the baseline, drives, no good again. Josh Shelley will take it back down. One second left. He ends up a shot. No good. And that'll do it for the first quarter. Exactly, honestly, what we were expecting between both teams. A defensive battle. Franklin controls it on the Jayhawks side. Jackson back in the game, leading the, the Jayhawks with six. Three on the way. That's good. Yeah, the three-point line hasn't been a friend of the Kansas Jayhawks all season long. But it has been for the Huskers, not their air ball. So a good start for them today. Two for five. For sure, have to build up that confidence. Jackson inside gets fouled. Force her up off the block a little bit. Coach Williams is putting both hands in the air, trying to show the officials. 75% free throw shooter on the year. Widener. Top of the key, controls it, sends it over to Shelley. Inside pass. No good. Isabel Ward. Again, her game, her first game back since December 4th. Drive no good. We'll get the foul there. Now it's her turn to show the officials what her players look like. Again, remember, Kansas is a very good free throw shooting team. A jinx them too. Prater, so one for two. The Huskers do not want to keep fouling and getting them to the line. Yeah, again, Prater, she had a career-high game against Arizona, 19 points. 13 of those were from the free throw line, so she can really be physical, get to that line. Three on the way is good. Markowski is money from the top of the key. That is going to be very difficult on an on-ball screen for Jackson to guard, and then they force a turnover. There you go. How about that momentum for the Huskers? Markowski, three. And then a quick turnover face by Nebraska defense. And they get the ball. Yep, on ball screen. She does a little step back instead of rolling to the basket. Absolutely. Hum Humphrey St. Francis, mm -hmm. great basketball player. Obviously multi-sport athlete, like you said. There's Markowski cashing in. 2019 Nebraska. Jess Shelley looks like she is back in rhythm on the offensive end of the floor. She had a high turnover game against Wyoming, and she's off to a good start with a high assist game. All right, it's all about finding that confidence again. Turnover for the Kansas Jayhawks. Quick transition offense there. Layup no good, but she'll head to the free throw line. Her and Markowski, of course. First one good from Widener. Yep, both from Nebraska. Got the opportunity to play at the Pinnacle Bank Arena for state basketball. Quick 7 0 run that is. Past 26 seconds. Jayhawks back with it, trying to get the offense rolling. There's a basket good for Franklin. Frank Franklin is the reigning Big 12 player of the week after a huge game against Tulsa. It's been impressive for sure to see her grow. How about the defense from the Cornhuskers? Another turnover forced. Again, we've talked about it. Both coaches said free throws and the foul battle will be huge. Got to get a shot off. Five seconds left on the shot clock. No good. Oh, the pass is to Widener. Widener drive. Shot's no good. 
Entry pass denied by Sam Hyvey. And just great defense. Having the hands up for the Nebraska Cornhuskers, that's just proven vital. Great pass there. That last possession defensively by Nebraska. But then she fights through and, and deflects the pass and gets the steal. Monica Stewart, two for two from the line. Nebraska 6-0 run past one minute, 39 seconds. 13-2 run over the past two minutes and 52 seconds. So a really dominant start here for Kansas. It's a three, excuse me, Nebraska, Kansas three-pointer good. Shelly Dock with possession, setting up her offense once again. Takes the drive down, and one is good. Great body control, attack the basket again. Getting into the chest of the defender on your way up and earning the foul. First one, no good. Kansas basketball. Hey, Bear looking to inbound, gets it in. Kick ball. Widener back with it. Markowski working real hard inside for the ball. And she gets it. Here's Markowski. 32-24. That's two fouls on Markowski. Got to watch that again. Yep, Mendelssohn comes in for Markowski. Gets her a little break with those two fouls. Jackson still not in off the bench. Shelly up top. Shot on the way, and it's good. Izzy Bourne. Crowd on their feet, clapping their hands here at PBA. Pass inside. Two seconds left on the shot clock. Nebraska back with the possession. 35-24. There's an inside pass. That's good. 344 scoring drought. The Kansas Jayhawks, speaking of offense, they need a spark here. Here's Franklin. No good. Offensive rebound, Kansas. Kicks it back out to Franklin. She'll shoot a three. And that's good. Watch your hand. <laughs> Sam Hybe with the ball. Looks for a screen. Looks like it'll be an offensive foul on Hybe, though. And got Kyle for the moving screen there. Williams does not like it. Not at all, but the foul trouble will get this team. Have to be careful, don't want to get teed up, of course. Kansas will put a little pressure, try and slow down the Huskers. One more free throw. That's good. 6.1 seconds left, Hybe takes it up the court. She'll look to take the final shot. No good. Good job defensively. You want to go into the locker room uh, and make some adjustments and then be able to come out and, and capitalize on those. I'm sure Coach Williams would like to get off to better starts, but having good finishes is what you really need. Key here for Kansas. Jackson back on the court. They're plus five when she's on the floor, and she was out the last eight minutes of the first half. So she's back, still playing with two fouls. Got to be a little bit careful, but has some leeway. Jazz with three. That's good. Start off the second half the right way. 40 points now for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 29 for Kansas. Another great baseline drive, this time by Widener. Those kick-out threes at the top of the key are such a high percentage shot. Great job by Widener and then Shelly. Is Jackson going to work? That's good. Borkowski gives a little left-hand shiver to Jackson in the post. Great hands. Izzy Bourne with the bucket of her own. 42-31 Nebraska on top. Coach Williams has got to love being able to have Izzy Bourne back. There's Franklin driving. That's good. Back on the court. Really important. Pass goes wide for the Huskers. Transition basket for the Kansas Jayhawks. Fantastic defense there. And a finish for Kurz Geeter. Shelly takes it herself to drive. So good with the hesitation. 
she can finish on the left or right hand side of the floor. Again, just so fast in transition. They get down the court, get set up so quickly, it's hard to keep up with them. She just does a great job on the boards as well. Crater's jumper's good. Trying to put some pressure on, force Nebraska into some turnovers, do what Kansas does so well. No surprise seeing that press. Not at all. Also gives them a little energy. A press also always just helps a little bit, especially when you're down, getting a little energy back. Shelly Pass tipped away. Another transition opportunity for Kansas. Basket's good from Franklin. And Ivy drives the basket. Over to Markowski. Tipped away, but Markowski gets it back. Goes up for a shot. No foul called. Kansas back in possession. Block for Prater. That was great help on her part for Kansas. Prater drives. No good, but fouled. And get a lead. They want to get stops. And free throws. Franklin 85% on the year. That one's good. She still is about to get her seventh double-double of the season. Just a really skilled post player on both ends of the floor. Been impressive watching her, and that three's good. Jazz Shelly. Shelly's been perfect in this third quarter, three for three. Making a milestone as well at Pinnacle Bank Arena. Offensive rebound back to the Jayhawks. Basket from Jackson's good. Jackson has had a great career, and it's gotten kind of even better as she's gone on, mostly because of her work with the assistant coach for Kansas, Terry Nooner. Coach Schneider talks a lot about the development that he's helped Jackson with. Hybe back to the line. First one's good from Hybe. Coach Schneider talked about it in that she hasn't even reached her ceiling offensively, which is kind of scary to think about considering the double-doubles she produces all season long. Yeah, if she hasn't reached her full potential, look out, Big 12. Easy drive for Kansas. Bonnie Stewart checks into the game for Markowski. First free throw, no good. Technically not Coach Snyder. That's his father who coached 40 years. Coach Schneider again, eighth season at KU, 2022 Big 12 Coach of the Year. Lots of traveling from him, but he's getting some really good players because of it. Kansas back on the offensive end. Here's a drive, no good. Offensive rebound, Jackson. Jackson twirls around, and that's good. Just so impressive, every single move. Shelly once again. Three on the way, no good. Kansas back in possession. Kansas on ball screen defense, making it really tough on Nebraska. Great with the entry pass to Jackson. That's good. She's having to guard that on ball screen up high on the three point line so much. It is exhausting for a post. Hybe's drive's good. What a tough shot that was for Hybe. Maybe went off a of middle. Three on the way. Leg. First Keeter's no good. Again, coming off a great season with the Nebraska volleyball team. Multi sport athlete out of Utah. She's a drive for Mendelssohn. Basket no good, but she's gotten a foul. Force her out to the three point line. Nebraska with just a three point lead. Mendelssohn will look to make it four. That's good. Great defense. Just 10 seconds ago in the third quarter, 51 47. Nebraska looking for the final shot. Here's Widener. Drives and kicks it back out. No good. And that's how the third quarter will end. It's almost always a make. Two fouls for her early in this game. The Saturday for eight minutes. One stat Nebraska can still be happy about is Jackson has only had two free throw attempts. It's all about so defending without fouling. Absolutely. Shot no good. Kansas with the rebound. Prater is an athlete. She skied for that rebound. First leader drive, no good. There's two shots. First leader seeing action.
reaction after she did not play against Tulsa. Something going offensively from the Huskers. Good pressure again from Mayberry. Lots of on-ball pressure from the Jayhawks. Again, their aggressive defense. Shelly with the drive off the backboard, and that's good. I think Coach Amy Williams told me pregame was that they're trying to build a wall defensively, making sure to deny those entry passes. And just be aggressive, be big there. It's a quick and lengthy Jayhawk team. Basket's good. Okay. Again, Prater able to score, though, because they didn't want to come over and help off of Jackson. Jackson is a difference maker, even if she doesn't touch the ball. Bad pass from Nebraska going the other way. Here's Prater. Knocked away. Widener is down. Great hustle from Widener. She runs into the camera person. That hustle that we've come to expect from Widener. Again, hopefully she's okay. Sam Hybe steps in. Due to that injury, both teams were able to get a little bit of a breather and talk to their coaches. Great defense by Bourne, but Prater gets it back. Another high on ball screen with Markowski and Shelly. Here's Shelly. 55-51. Again, Jess Shelley is so good with change of pace. They think she's going to pull up and shoot it or pass to Markowski. She hesitates and then attacks. And then the block from Markowski. Hard drive by Mayberry trying to get into the body. Markowski with the left-hand block. And Jackson two defenders does not matter for her takes a shot no good it's great defense from kansas kansas on the transition basket just so quick down there letting them play physical here's jackson on the transition no good Great steal by Jackson, but Mendelssohn doesn't quit on it. Gets back. Shelly for three. No good. They'd really like to take advantage of. Strom's pass to Jackson. She's looking for something. Backs down. Ja Shelly there. Take back out. Franklin good for the three. Breaks the tie. 58-55. Kansas on top. First lead for Kansas since it was 19-18 in the second quarter. It's a 7-0 run now for the Jayhawks. That was just a great job by Franklin. Markowski had forced her off the block, so she couldn't make a move and score it. Jazz Shelley helps really well, but they just get a kick out for three. Here's and Markowski. Here's Markowski. That's good. Ties up this ball game. Here's Franklin. Drives the baseline. Reverse play is no good. Franklin with the rebound. Excuse me, Jackson with the rebound. Two twenty left to play. Fifty-eight all Kansas, Nebraska. Just cold pass to Hyvee. Shot from Hyvee, good. Jackson flies out, and Hyvee gets the pull-up jumper. Great job by Markowski to go get that rebound. Both teams have plenty of timeouts if they need them here to finish the game. Nebraska with three, Kansas with four. Whether it be to set something up or to give your team a little bit of a breather, here comes a high on ball screen for Jazz Shelley. Under 90 seconds to go, here's Shelley. Over to Mendelssohn, Shelley again tripped up. Transition opportunity for Kansas. Good. Physical defense from Kerskeeter. Here's Hybe driving. No foul call. That's great defense. She got a, two hands on the ball for the block there. Mayberry drives it herself. Markowski says no way, not today. Over to Franklin. Franklin setting minute. up that offense. Less than a minute to play. Those re defensive rebounds are going to be so important. Shot from Franklin, no good. Markowski with the rebound. Yep, we got double high. On ball screen. Hybe all the way to the basket. Hybe's layup no good. Kansas. Kansas calls timeout. Can serve as some motivation for the Cornhuskers. Possession for the Jayhawks here. 
will be instrumental 60-60. Franklin is clearing it out. 10 seconds to play. And there's your, there's your foul. That's all right for the Huskers. Skeeter on the inbound. by Amy Williams. Jazz Shelley coming off what looks like a staggered triple screen. Pull the inbound. And then Bourne rolls for the layup. Oh, underneath, the, underneath the rim there, or the backboard, excuse me. Jazz Shelley and company ready to go for the tip. Here's Markowski and Jackson, controlled by Kansas. Again, this is a this is a point in the game where Nebraska surely missing Allison Widener. Here's Crater with the shot, no good. Jackson with the rebound. Offensive rebounds have been huge for the Jayhawks. Absolutely. 18 offensive rebounds for the Jayhawks, just six for the Cornhuskers. Again, Jackson got too low there on the block. Here's Kerskeeter, she has to shoot it, no good. Ball does not hit the rim. Forcing the shot clock. Here's Shelly on the baseline drive, kicks it out. Three on the way. No good, but Markowski with the rebound, goes back up. Such a competitive defensive game. Crater kicks it back out to Franklin. Franklin right up the middle. Bounces in for the Jayhawks. Has been working for Franklin. Another great option they have there in Jackson that they have to utilize for the Kansas Jayhawks. Here's Cole over to Shelly. Entry pass to Mendelssohn. She backs down. Baby hook on the way. No good. They're used to playing a fast-paced game. Three on the way. No good. Hasn't been the best shooting night from the arc all season long for Kansas. They'll need her down the stretch to get some touches. Here's Hybe over to Shelly. Little cross screen for Murkowski. But she felt the presence of Jackson coming back to block a shot. Still gets to the free throw line. Murkowski another great night. 18 points. One rebound and away from a double-double. This is the second, so six are fans on their feet. Kansas feels the pressure, takes a timeout. Huskers need a stop here. Here's Jackson again. Shots pass off. Crater drives. Shots no good. Gotta believe this basketball. We'll look to go to Jackson. A little box set here. Up screen. We'll stagger. Here's the inbound. Almost I, picked off. Ivy with another deflection. She's had a few of those tonight. Crater on the drive in. No good. Shelly with the rebound. Timeout. Nebraska. Here we go. 31.3 to play. Girl with the inbound. Over to Ivy. To set up this offense. See what Amy Williams has drawn up out of the break. There's Cole. Over to Shelly. Shelly said no to that on-ball screen. Here they come with another one. Screen from Hyde. Shelly driving back and down into the paint. Takes a shot. No good. Gets her own rebound. It fumbles around. Kansas has it in a timeout. Just hands straight up, get through screens. Nothing easy. Here it is for the Jayhawks. 62-62, 1.9 to play. Keeps up the shot, no good from Mayberry. This is a big one here. Second overtime underway here. Tip off controlled once again by the Jayhawks. Double overtime underway, 62-62. Both teams will not go away from the defensive effort. Here's Mayberry on the drive. No good, blocked away by Mendelssohn. Great help there by Markowski. Another offensive rebound, though, from Kansas. Here's a drive shot. Good. 
Nebraska still hasn't made a basket yet. They've had two free throws, but no field goals made. Here's Shelly for three. That's good. Just two, I think. It'll be a two. It might be time for, Can for Nebraska to roll to the basket with their post player and get a look down low. Kansas looking to break the tie. Here's Franklin. Crossover, drive to the basket. That's good. 66-64. Kansas regains the lead. The Big 12 player of the week wants the ball in her hands at big possessions. You see that. And she's scoring here in double overtime. Shelly from the point driving into the paint. Ball tipped away, but a foul called. First one good. For the tie. That's good. Franklin, who's really taking control in the pivotal moments of this game for Kansas. Here's a shot from Franklin. That's good. Mid-range jumper, no problem from her, 68-66. Kansas with Great the lead. Great job with the handles there by Franklin and the pullback. High beam, that's good. High beam answers with a dagger from just outside the free throw line extended. Huskers are not going anywhere, 68-68, one tenth left to go in double overtime. Here's Franklin on the drive, back hit no good. Franklin back to the rebound, that's good. That time Izzy Bourne tipped it and just couldn't grab it right back in the hands of Franklin. She won't miss on the their draw. eyes. Fortunate there for Sam Izzy Ivey. Bourne seems to be set. That is a tough call against her. The only good thing about that offensive foul is doesn't put Kansas on the free throw line. Kansas with an opportunity to extend the lead. Travel called Nebraska basketball. Great switch from, from Hybe. 46 to go, 70-68. Kansas remains the lead. Sam Hybe up top for the Huskers. Entry pass in the paint. Such a tough pass and catch. And this has been Coach Williams' best defensive group today. Both Markowski and Mendelssohn in at the same time. Mendelssohn will be able to help her down low a little bit. It does look like Coach Schneider is going to pull out and try and use most of this clock here. Timeouts for Kansas. Two timeouts left for Nebraska. Franklin taking time off the clock. On ball screen here for Franklin. Slipped. There's still an opportunity to win this game. Have to shake off all the miscues and miscommunication. All that matters is this right here. Shelly back to Kroll and then the back screen for Shelly. Oh, another missed layup. Plenty of time. No shot from the Jayhawks. Double overtime, 70-70. Tip controlled by the Jayhawks for the third time. If you're just joining us, Allison Widener had an injury and has been out of the game. Pass denied. Great defense by Markowski. Impressive that there aren't higher foul totals. Here's Shelly for three. I don't think that's who Coach Snyder wants to leave open. At the top of the key, Jazz Shelly for three. 73-70, Nebraska on top. PBA on their feet. Here's Franklin with the shot no good. Rebound. Foul called against Nebraska. It'll be two shots. First shot is good. Here's Shelly from the point. Moriarty looks to get it inside. She does. Mendelssohn, baby hook. That's good. Great job there. Patience by Moriarty keeping the ball in her hand. Waiting for Mendelssohn to get set down low. A cross screen from Izzy Bourne, and Mendelssohn takes her time, realizes she has a size advantage, and nails the baby hook. There's a drive. Foul. Count the basket. 
This is just aggressive, great finish. Huge free throw here. That's good. Bourne has four fouls as well. Shelly to inbound. Gets it over to Markowski. Back to Shelly for three. That's good. From Jazz, Shelly. She has taken over this ball game. Franklin for a two-pointer. No good. Shelly with the rebound. Six on the shot clock. Shelly sends up a prayer. No good. Of course, a real tough shot there. Kansas on the transition. Here's a drive. Basket no good. No. Offensive rebound. <laughs> Prater is a worker out there. Her sixth double-double. Great game for Markowski again. Opportunity to make it a two-point ball game. Yes. Here's Izzy Bourne. Back to Kroll. Full drive. Mendelssohn three, from the, three for four from the free throw line tonight. Second one's good. 79, 76, 130 to play. Triple overtime from Lincoln, Nebraska. Kansas in their undefeated season on the line. Nebraska looking to spoil that. Here's Franklin. The shot is good. Ivy reaches in there. She might have got some hand on the ball, but her whole arm is on Franklin's arm, so they're going to call that every time. Really impressive to finish through that from Franklin. Free throw good. Here's Hyvie on the drive. And that'll be Prater's fifth foul. She is a workhorse. She gets her hands on every loose ball, rebound. 81.6% on the year from the stripe. Second one, no good. Huskers almost get that offensive rebound. They want a travel call, but they will not get it. Kansas back with the possession. Jackson with another minute, rebound. Minute Less than a minute to go. Franklin driving. No good from Franklin. Rebound. Huskers. Great help. Great block by Mendelssohn. Schneider is all over the official. Wanted a foul on that one. They'll play on. Hybe at the point. 41 seconds to go. Triple overtime. 79 79. Hybe with the drive. Kicks it out. Three on the way. That's good. Izzy born from the corner. Sam Hybe. What a pass. It's Franklin. Takes a shot. No good. Nebraska with work to do. From the strike, five for ten in overtime. This one's good. Coming back, just her second game back. In a long absence. 84, She's a leader. 79. Ivy. It's the two free throws. 18 seconds to go. Shot no good. Nebraska with the rebound. We'll take it up the court. Kansas isn't fouling. No foul there called. First one's good. 85-79. No good. Last chance opportunity, but it won't be enough. 85-79, Nebraska 